Now, February 14th is Valentine's Day, a day when dates with loved ones are top of the agenda. But for Uhuru Kenyatta and three other ICC accused persons, they have a date with the ICC trial chamber judges. However, for Uhuru and William Ruto, the date will not be in person as they will be honoring the appointment via a video link from right here in Nairobi. And as our senior reporter Aaron Ocheng reports, tomorrow's status conference is the last requirement before the commencement of the full trial in which video conferencing will not be an option. As the trial date for the four accused Kenyans facing heinous crimes at the International Criminal Court approaches, the trial chamber is finalizing preparations for the start of the trial. The court will on Thursday hold a status conference in The Hague, the last requirement before commencement of the trial set for 10th and 11th of April. Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta and former Eldred North Member of Parliament William Ruto will be in the country during the conference and will follow the proceedings via a satellite video link. The other accused persons, retired civil service boss Francis Muthaura and radio presenter Joshua Rapsang are already in the Netherlands for the conference. To prepare and thereafter to disclose evidence. The main purpose of the status conference is to discuss the conditions of the summonses to appear issued by the pre-trial chamber, as well as to address any practical, financial or legal matters related to the attendance of the accused at trial. And as the trial chamber prepares for the status conference, the ICC president Sang Hyung Song says the Kenyan cases presents a major challenge to the court since it has never faced a similar situation. Speaking in New York, Song cited the imminent elections and logistics as a cause for worry. He says since the suspects are free, the court has to rely on their word to cooperate with it during the trial and admitted that they have no means to guarantee the same. During the Monday night presidential debate, Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga differed on how Uhuru, if he wins elections, will be president and attend his trial. I know that it will pose serious challenges to run a government by Skype from The Hague. I will be able to handle the issue of clearing my name, while at the same time ensuring that the business of government continues, the ICC itself, in recognition of the fact that there may be this issue, are even saying we can move this case closer by. Prosecutor of the ICC, Fatou Ben Souda, has however indicated that she does not oppose the trials to be moved to Arusha, arguing that the venue of the trial does not affect the outcome of the case. Aaron Ocheng, KTN Prime.